Professor Pineco here, and as you can see, I'm going to open up a Mythical Pokemon Collection uh, box. This is actually my second Mew Mythical Pokemon Collection box. I decided to get another um, because the Generations packs are going to be a little bit more difficult for me to collect. Um, also, I just thought... Uh, hey, it's on sale. So so I did get a second one on Pokemon Day. I also went to my local Toys R Us and picked up this promo card. And as you can see, it actually is from the Pokemon Generation set. Um, they will be actually giving these out at Toys R Us once a month. Uh, it's the third Saturday of every month, but it is actually on their website. Now, uh, I'm in Canada, so it should be for everybody. But uh, I think that's really cool with the Toys R Us logo there. Um, definitely... Definitely something you want to check out. Um, it's kind of like the Build-A-Bear uh, Pikachu one, uh, which I also, or Pikachu card, which I also have. Um, it's kind of a Pikachu card that says Build-A-Bear. So we're gonna open this, and the glue is like incredibly strong on these boxes, so uh, you're gonna speed this up a little bit. Uh, in each box, there is this little poster, very pretty. Um, it also says that it celebrates the 20 years of Pokemon. But the interesting thing is it gives you a little checklist of all the Pokemon that are coming out for this set. It also tells you we've got a Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and Pikachu EX box that's gonna come out too. So that's pretty neat. And then we have our package here. And if we slide it out, the first thing we can pull out here is this beautiful Mew pin. It is pretty beautiful. Pretty beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bah, bah, bah. So yeah, this is the Mew pin. Um, I actually uh, collect these pins. I have a little, uh, a little display case for them. Um, yeah, we've got the uh, Mew card, which I've kind of shown on stream a couple times. It is quite a beautiful card. Um, yeah. So and it's it's the sparkliness of it is actually. Um, there because my uh, because I'm doing this during the day and I normally don't do videos during the day. There's a little bit more reflective surface, but it's got clairvoyance. It's actually a uh, pretty good. I love that it does 10 more damage for each uh, energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So you could actually run this uh, in a deck. So and you also have a code card back there, um, which I am going to hang on to for future reference of code cards. So I decided to go with. Um, the Blastoise and the Charizard on this one. I do also have the Venusaur and the Pikachu artwork because I did want um, good packages of all of them. Now I've already pre-ordered Celebi, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be getting um, I'm gonna be getting every single box, but I don't think I'll get multiples of all the boxes. So um, the way this one, the way I've seen people do this one is just three to the front, and that's actually how I'm gonna do it as well. So we'll start out, we have this Wobbuffet. Now this is from the Poké uh collections, but it's called like a Radiant Collection subset in, uh, in Canada. And I apologize, we'll just get the camera to focus before we go on. So we have Wobbuffet, Cloyster, Clefable, Doduo, Caterpie, a Machop, holding that boulder. Ooh, we've got Electric Energy. I do like the design of the energy cards in this set. We have a reverse Meowth, so that's usually the third time I've pulled this Meowth, which is kind of frustrating. Oh, we have another Charizard, so I got even a duplicate on my uh, on my Pokecune card. And then our final one is a Snorlax. Now I know that I've seen this artwork before, I'm not exactly which, sure which Snorlax it's from. So I do have to say, like, my generation pulls have been pretty epically terrible. Um, so I didn't get this open quite the same way I wanted to, but... Uh, Definitely that's okay because I can still use the packs. So we've got, we're just gonna let it focus for a second. We got the shroomish just looking into the pond, chilling. We've got an energy switch, a revitalizer. Oh, we have that Clefairy, which we saw as we opened. I actually love that Clefairy artwork, that is beautiful. We have a Diglett, we have the water energy. So actually I haven't duplicated energy at least. Uh, Magikarp, oh, we've got a maintenance trainer. Oh, oh, we have the Wally. -E. Okay, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful trainer card. I do like that a lot. And our final is a Doug Trio. So no EX pulls or anything like that. So that kind of does suck. Um, but but it's okay. It's okay. Um, you know, we we definitely got that that beautiful Charizard card. So I think that's the that's the main thing that I'm gonna pop up and show here. And we've got the. Um, We've got uh, exciting things to come because I actually ordered a booster box of Pokemon Kune uh, 
Kun, Kun, some whatever it's called, um, in Japanese because I just think that the Japanese cards are done a little bit nicer than the English cards are. Um, also, I really wanted to complete this set uh, and I didn't mind if it was in Japanese or English and uh, since you can't buy Generations booster boxes, I didn't want to you know spend a uh, ton of money. So this is a nice little collector set. I would highly suggest you guys pick them up, um, you know, if not just for the Mew, or sorry, just for the legendary cards and legendary pins. The next one will be uh, Celebi, you know, um, so do check that out. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more of this please leave comments in the description below and also check me out on twitch i hope all of your pokemon shine